Um, so first of all, let's talk about the past situation. Actually, I'm going to need another card. Sorry, Sagittarius. Because we have the tower, so we need another. Okay, another card. So first of all, we have here the two of coins. And the two of coins is a situation where somebody was definitely juggling, okay? Um, juggling multiple options, juggling their, uh, their romantic life. So um, I feel that a lot of you... Um, you were either doing this or you were uh, with somebody who was doing this, okay? So what it seems to me is the juggling act ended because somebody got caught, okay? We have here the Seven of uh, Swords. And the Seven of Swords, when it shows up in the reverse position, it means like straight out got caught. Um, whatever, whoever has done the sneaking around, they were found out. So um, the juggling came to an end because one person removed themselves from the relationship. And um, for a lot of you, you might have been dealing with a uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And um, as a result of it, the tower happened where, you know, one person was very, very hurt and had no choice but to remove themselves, physically remove themselves, um, you know, silence, no communication, uh, had to remove themselves from a situation. This is not something that can be gone back to, okay? This is like the dismantling of the entire foundation. This is something that is quite shocking, that is quite painful. And I feel for a lot of you, it might have happened, like, even in the faraway past, it still can be felt. And as a result of it, I feel like you might be keeping your options open because you don't want to hurt, get hurt again. And either way, I feel like somebody was definitely juggling and got found out, got caught. And damage is done pretty much, and you can't really go back to it, okay? So I'm glad it's in the past. Which brings us to the present situation. We have the Three of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, you're dating again, okay? So I hope you're single and you're dating again. So I feel like overall, the Three of Cups indicates social outing, social um, interactions, and it indicates flirtation, dating, okay? Keeping our options open and not really committing to one uh, to a specific person. It's just, you know, going out, having a good time, and seeing where it leads us. It's linked up here with the Ace of Coins, and the Ace of Coins is, um, for this month, I feel that you have some valid choices coming through, okay? Despite it being re Mercury in retrograde, I do feel here. The Ace of Coins is usually, like, a very, very um, good relationship partner that you can build with, that you can learn from. So either way, I feel like it's a positive experience, and you're going to encounter um, some people that are very financially stable, that are very, like, stable emotionally, uh, physically as well, that you can uh, get into relationships with. It's also linked up with the lovers. And the lovers card is about, you know, um, having a very, very strong, not so much on this deck, but it's a very strong physical connection with another person. Feeling as if the other person is um, different from us enough where things are interesting, but similar enough that you can build something with, okay? So it's not going to be a stagnant, boring relationship. I feel like you're going to be heavily attracted to another person. So, you know, that imagery, it's the male-female archetype. So it's like someone who is different enough from us so that we have, you know, a lot of um, good energy exchange between them and we're attracted to them. And they're not like so similar to us that things are boring, okay? So very good options that you have right now if, for those of you who are dating especially. And what's crowning you? The things that you are thinking about here. We have the Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups indicates a uh, offers for dates, propositions for getting to know another person, as well as um, plans that are being solidified with another person, okay? The Two of Wands is basically the re ultimate relationship card when it appears in this combination. It means someone is coming through giving you an offer and you're gonna take this offer. At first it doesn't seem like it is all that great but I feel that you are going to go with it and you're gonna build upon it, okay? So for a lot of you, I feel like um, you might have some water sign that you're thinking about. A um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but I feel like the the energy is very young, very innocent, very sincere, and um, very like um, heart on their sleeves, like a water sign. So I feel like you're getting your... I feel like you're being courted, like old-fashioned courting. You know, someone is like 
hey, let's go on a date so we can get to know each other. So I feel like someone is like very old fashioned, um, tries to get to know someone really, really well first before, you know, they sleep with them. So I feel like this is an old fashioned, very shy energy that is um, bringing a proposition for you, a proposal for you. Um, I feel like this is something that it could be from your end. I feel there's an element of geographical distance and I don't feel like it's overseas or anything like that but I do feel like um, geographical distance communication between you and another person potentially getting to know another person over you know social media as well and developing feelings for them so I feel like you yourself might be the first might be thinking about um, taking that first step like taking that leap of faith in order to um, get to know another person. So I feel like you're going to be rewarded handsomely, you know, in love and in, in life overall if you take risks. The foundation here, we do have the Page of Wands, and the foundation is like everything that the situation is built upon. We have the Page of Wands, which indicates like it's a messenger. It's a person bearing good news, and they're giving, um, they're bringing about news that deals, um, that deals with like romantic on the romantic front so it deals with propositions and i honestly feel for a lot of you you might be physically sending out um invitations like you know birthdays um and i feel more like engagements i feel a lot of engagement like this is a really heavy love energy for this month um it's engagement propositions and even i feel like the the messages that are sent out are a little bit more on the um official nature but I feel like the messages that are coming back to you are more love, romance focused, okay? So there's a lot of news coming through. And we do have communication from old friends, old lovers. So you've definitely got a blast from the past. I believe the Six of Cups came out in the reverse position. So the Six of Cups indicates, you know, blast from the past, somebody that you've known before, somebody you've dealt with before. And that's why I feel like the communication is not, I feel like the communication is not like, romantically inclined that might be it so a lot of you um, might be solicited from uh, by an ex and you're just like no thank you and you're sending out in a, um, a message in a very curt matter-of-fact way like I'm not interested you know just simply not interested a lot of you might um, I feel like it's not really so much coming from you or you might be sending it out because you're a fire sign. You might be sending it out to the other person just to cut them off. So I feel like you're looking at a situation from your past in a very, very realistic light and you're realizing that you have risen above it and you're not really interested in re-engaging in that context anymore. You know, because once again, the tower, if this happens, it's really hard to overcome it and it's really hard to... Um, Pretend like nothing happened. So I feel like for some of you, I feel like for most people, this is like, you know, a while ago and it still hurts a little bit. You know, it's still like you're a little bit more careful when you approach new love relationships because this really left a bitter taste in your mouth. OK, so I feel like you're being more cautious about that person coming back and um, reengaging with that person in any um, capacity. What is coming through for you here? We do have the Five of Swords, which is a truce, the end to a conflict. And we do have the Two of Swords as well, which is, you know, um, no longer being stuck, no longer being blindfolded, and no longer... Um, it's like that mental clarity. You're no longer like keeping yourself on hold in suspension or even waiting on the whims of somebody else. So I feel like a lot of information, a lot of clarity has is coming through for you or will be coming through for you for the month of September where you're going to be able to move ahead and you're going to, going to be able to advance ahead. So what I'm feeling here is you've definitely got new people coming through. You've definitely got like um, taking a relationship to the next level, okay? And doing so with a, uh, someone that you're very, very physically and emotionally attracted to. So I feel like some really good energies, especially for those who are single, get out and date, okay? You're going to be um, meeting some really like-minded people. What I'm also feeling is um, for those of you in long-standing relationships and and um, marriages that are have been really difficult, I definitely feel that you might be parting ways. I don't feel in September, but I feel like I feel like you're seriously thinking about it because I keep seeing you, you know, at the center is like the crossroads, okay? And I feel like we have two signs here. We've got um, 
we've got fire signs and we've got water signs. So I feel like you might be trying to decide, you know, what to do, how to move forward and things like that. And I feel for a lot of you, you might have been with an air sign, earth sign in the past, and you are trying to explore other venues, okay? But overall, especially for stable relationships and things like that, I definitely feel like taking trips together and a little bit of geographical distance coming through and potentially taking a new job and having to and relocating with another with your partner. So moving together as a unit, which is a really nice stable energy. And then others of you, especially singles who are actively dating, I highly, highly recommend that you do that because I feel like you're going to be tempted. There is an ex coming back from the past. You might be tempted. Um, what I'm feeling is, you know, this is going to apply to only a few, but I feel like somebody that you were, you know, like you're now you're in a really good relationship um, and someone you were romantically with in the past that really hurt you. I feel like they're getting married. And I feel like this is like the face off, you know, where you're invited to like an ex's wedding. And then you have somebody that you're really, really uh, in love with, or you might not have somebody that you're in love with. And I feel like you're going to get somebody to go to the wedding with. So I feel like that energy is coming through. It's going to be a little bit awkward. If that is happening to you, I do feel that you're going to have a really good time, okay? I feel that no matter what, it is a chapter in your life that you need to close up, okay? So it might come in. It might feel really awkward. If you go, I feel like you're going to have a really good time. If you choose not to go, um, that's great and fine too, but I feel like... I feel like either way, you're going to have to close some doors on things that have happened in the past. Uh, you're going to have to close some doors on that X, okay? So just wish them well. And, you know, if you choose to go or not to go, that that's up to you. But I feel like this is a month about finality. It's about moving on. And it's about taking things to the next level, whatever that means to you. I do feel like, you know, doors are being slammed shut and goodbye and moving on. And I feel like the dating environment, especially for those of you who are single and looking, I feel it is really, really positive. So get yourself out there, okay? Start signing up for those um, online dating even or speed dating um, events, okay? I feel like you're going to have a really good time. 